Your brother would have been worried sick. Shh, quiet. My brother's giving his speech. From this day forward, you will honor the oaths you have made to Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and you will stop at nothing to bring Snezhnaya victory. You shall sweep through this land like the icy winds of the furthest north, as strong as the hoarfrost of Zeppeljarni Palace. You will chill the very marrow in our enemy's bones. Her Majesty expects of you loyalty, ruthlessness, and meticulousness. For the trials that we face are harsh, and our enemies are like... Uh, and like kites and rattle drums, who shall become redoubtable foes of Mr. Cyclops in the marketplaces of Liu. Uh huh. Kites are really fun too. This is, of course, an analogy. As they say, the marketplace too is a battlefield. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm? So as your sales manager here in Liyue, I demand that you obey my every order. A refusal shall be considered a betrayal, and the price for betrayal is to be dishonorably discharged from... <clears throat> uh, from the Liyue Institute of Toy Research. Whoa, that's really strict. Won't people be really sad if they get fired from the Institute? Huh? Uh, uh... Seeking to please everyone pleases no one at all. Time to try something else. Forget it. Perhaps a round of hands-on training will suit us better. Hands-on training? After all, uh, a strong body is the proof of one's capacity. Hey, did... Did he just say that we're doing hands-on training? A harbinger wants to spar with us personally? Well, what an honor. I can't believe it. Are recruits like us really worthy? Am I hearing a hint of objection to this idea? Not, Not at, at all, sir. sir! That's the spirit! Now come at me, you lot! Frozen. Oh! Yeah. Okay, I didn't expect this at this point. Let's see. Let's 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 see what we've got here with him. Um character, that's what we want. So right now we've got you in the group. What even is that weapon? I have no idea. Artifacts? Oh my, oh, I can't steal them. Damn it. Constellation's at three, but what's your constellation? Increases the cooldown. It's affected by Riptide are defeated. More elemental energy. Increase the level of foul. A three, I don't know what it is yet, so right, talents. Okay, normal attacking cutting torrent. Form up to six consecutive shots with a bow. Form a more precise aim shot would decrease would decrease, decrease damage. No, increased damage. Like, why would it decrease with charging? It makes no sense. Well, I mean the power of the hydro will accumulate on the arrowhead. An arrow fully charged with the torrent will deal hydro damage and apply the riptide status. Riptide opponents affected by riptide will suffer from AoE hydro damage effects when attacked by Tartaglia. In various ways. Damage dealt in this way is considered normal attack damage riptide. Oh god. That's the one I want. Hmm. There's a lot going on there. Raging Tide Alicia set up. Let's just play around with it. There's too much reading. Let's just get on with it and kill things. I'm just thinking like get, get stuff out, try and build stuff up. Bring you together a little bit, but that did not work out how I wanted at all. Not at all. Off we go. Trying to build up Bennett and Sucrose, obviously, so I can see what happens here. We'll call him Child because it's easier. Okay, so. So he can switch styles. Let me just heal up here. I'm just playing around at this point. Playing around. Just limited on chances with this guy. Do I have a... I do. Let's get you. And 
and Healy Healy. He's only 61. Like, ugh. Despicable. So his special is switching. Well, his, his main ability can do the lots of That's kind of interesting. I need to properly heal though, don't I? It's like, do I even have the ability to heal anymore with him? Not really. Mostly just trying to build stuff up. So I do want to unleash his skills, it's just I need the ability to do that. Because it would be nice. damage there. Probably need more... Oh god, I didn't realise there was going to be more more stuff going on, otherwise I would have ended stuff a bit quicker than that. I was literally just playing around. Alright, okay. Let's end these things. Oh, you're dead? You have to go and die on me, man. Off we go. Everybody, stand back. Power of the desert fight. Absorption test. Stand clear. You can run, but you can't hide. You're like, does his main skill change when he's in these different stands? Well then. Do you all understand what I said earlier? Yes, yes sir. sir! Excellent. And you all almost managed to get me limbered up. In other words, you've done well for new recruits. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord Harbinger! Harbinger. <laughs> all right, hush now. <clears throat> now then, I wish you all glorious victory for Snezhnaya, for Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and for yourselves. Dismissed! Brother! You are amazing! Oh, Tusser! What in the world are you doing here? There I was thinking that the Traveler had taken you to play at Wang Shuin. <laughs> Yikes! That's some terrible acting! You really did get stronger. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I never pass on an opportunity to improve my strength. I'm not the man I was when we first met. Didn't see your black armor anywhere. <laughs> you must mean my foul legacy transformation. It puts a great strain on my body, so it's best saved for crucial moments. I still haven't fully recovered from the injuries I suffered when I used it at the Golden House. Anyway, I'm no Senora. I don't use lethal force against recruits. Come on now. The foul legacy transformation? It doesn't make you stronger than Mr. Cyclops? Uh, you could say that. I want to learn to fight too. I want to be cool like you. Now too, sir. Fighting isn't about looking cool. You can only continue to get stronger if you know the reason why you're fighting. I can teach you, but think carefully first. Why do you want to fight? I... Hmm? I... I want to protect Sister Tonya. That's a good answer, Tusser. When I return to Snezhnaya, I will start teaching you fighting techniques. Then you'll have to protect Tonya for me. How does that sound? <laughs> Leave it to me! You know, Tusser's a good kid when he's not being so stubborn. Agreed. 
You've had a nice long time here in Liyue, haven't you, Tusser? Isn't it about time that you took the boat back home? But, 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 you've been so busy, and we didn't get any time to play together yet. Tusser, you know I'm very busy at work. And hasn't it been fun traveling all over the place with a proper traveler? He's just worried he won't be able to keep up the toy seller act forever. Well, how about this? If you just do one little thing for me, I'll be a good boy and go back home. Oh dear, who taught this little devil to bargain? <laughs> All right, what'll it be? Take me to visit the Institute of Toy Research! Do you think he means that ruin that the Millilith was talking about? The one where all the ruin guards were coming from? A reasonable wish. Done deal. After all, you've come all this way for me too, sir. As your brother, it's only right for me to grant you one last wish before you leave. Exactly! <laughs> um, are you sure this is a good idea? It doesn't seem like the best place for kids. You should come along too, Traveler! This time, it's Tusser's turn to take you sightseeing. Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, the Institute of Toy Research is not far at all from Lingju Pass. Now, Traveler, you're not the sort of person who would disappoint a kid now, are you? Ugh, the brothers are ganging up on us again. Oh, fine, we'll go. Pretty much thinking with his skills. So he can change the stunt. Hello. Mm hmm. He can change the stances. So I'm very much thinking. Does he have like two sets of weapons? Do you have to like get a sword? Yes, yeah, so those pipes. Dear, do you have to get a sword and a bow? Just wondering how he works out. Because he's a potential candidate for um. Replacing Zhang Ling in my head. I'm just wondering how it'll work out and stuff like that. Like, did I leave something on the floor over there? It looks like I did. It's a good job I came back here. Didn't pick up that thing either. The uh, plant. And yeah, it's like using Bennett and Sucrose. Once I get better artifacts and stuff, they'll be very, very good at buffing and they'll work very, very well with someone like. Child. Over Jean Ling. It's just wondering how he works. Here we are. Welcome to Liyue's Institute of Toy Research. Yeah, we're here! I can already hear the sounds of machinery inside. Awesome! What is this place? And how do you know about it? Based on my limited understanding, I believe this is one of Dottore's research facilities. Dottore is another one of the Fatui Harbingers. He loves tinkering with old things. It's a personal passion of his. So, he converted these ruins into a Ruin Guard research lab. Huh? So the Ruin Guards are built by the Fatui? No, they have much closer connections to the Abyss. So, strictly speaking, they're as much our enemies as anyone else's. We just do research, nothing more. As to why the Ruin Guards have been moving outside of this area recently, I can only imagine that he's gotten bored of playing around with them, and has lost interest in this place. Wow, yet another Harbinger with a bad attitude. But at least this explains why you were totally okay with bringing Tusser here. Seems you did your homework ahead of time. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I actually have no idea what this place is like on the inside. Wait, so are you or are you not worried about your brother's safety? Of course I am. But no matter what the danger is, I will parry it. Isn't that what any older brother would do? Even Tusser understands that, now that he knows what he's fighting for. It's the very same reason that's been nestled in my own heart for so many years. What are you guys chatting about? Come on, let's go in! <laughs> Alright, follow me. Okay, 35 should be okay. So there's no hydro, but I'm imagining we'll get child. Again, it's his weapons I'm thinking about. It's like, do I need one of each? Brother, someone was saying that Mr. Cyclops is a killing machine. 
Were they now? What a silly thing for them to say. And you shouldn't go repeating it either, Tooster. You're far too young to be talking about such violent topics. Yeah, I knew that they were lying anyways. Mr. Cyclops is here to defeat the bad guys and protect the world! He's my favorite toy! Right. With Mr. Cyclops around, the bad guys won't ever get you. <laughs> That's right! Okay, I'm going to go play with Mr. Cyclops now! Hey, Tooser, wait up! The, the door's shut! Will Tooser be alright? There's another path over there. Let's move. So much for parrying. Yeah, yeah I'm just wondering, like, does his main skill? No, does his like, 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 does that change? Range stance, melee stance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So range stance swiftly fires a hydro Im imbued magic arrow, dealing AOE. Hydro damage and applying the Riptide status returns a portion of its energy cost that I have to use. Ooh. Melee stance, light of obliteration. Forms a slash of a large AoE dealing massive hydro damage to all surrounding opponents, which triggers Riptide Blast. Riptide Blast, here we go. When the obliterating waters hit an opponent affected by Riptide, it clears their Riptide status and triggers a hydro explosion that deals AoE hydro damage Damage dealt in this way is considered elemental burst damage. Alright. So. Hmm. Just wondering, like, how do we get this Riptide then? Riptide, flash, Riptide, 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 Riptide. riptide. I think it's like, hit it a few times. I'm just starting to think, like, what my, um, play-by-play -play should be with him. It's very much like, hit it a few times, maybe, like, get water effect on it and stuff like that. Switch over to someone like Sucrose, Bennett, use their special abilities, the equivalent of that. And why, why even is, like, this called, like, that level of it? Because I know some people refer to it as, like, Q, based on, like, what it is on the keyboard and stuff like that. Whereas for me, it would be triangle. So, you know, it's like the triangle skill. So pretty much like, what, what I'm thinking anyway. Thinking, hit it a few times, Sucrose use triangle, Bennett use triangle, back over ta Tartaglia, Tartaglia, uh, child, and then see how much damage we do there. Oh, that's a shame I can't just jump up there, apparently. Uh. Why did it suddenly change stance? Yeah. It's like, why? I didn't tell it to change stance, so I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Ew. Fair enough. Get that shit. Ow. Yeah. Right, we'll take it. Okay, I see, I see. What happens if I hit it? It's better. Alright, so... Let's get Shawling going here so we can build stuff up easier over here with Sucrose. Sucrose built up. Bit up as well. I forgot they explode. Alright. That's right. But give me a moment over here, Tooser. I need to make sure that everything's safe. 
Maybe I shouldn't have spoiled him quite so much. Jump out the window, it's not that far. Like, big gap. <laughs> you could get through there. No time to lose. It's quite easy. Those ruin guards have all been strung up. Where are they being taken to? I don't know. But if there's a chance, it's where Tusser is. We need to stop this before things get ugly. Back up, mate. Not exactly the best against these guys, but... Okay, that's something special. You know? See, that's gonna be the Riptide, isn't it? That's what, that's what, that's... Uh, <laughs> Amateur mistake. Because it's not just the, the Hydro, the water. That's the Riptide. I see, I see. I'm getting an idea of what happens here now. That's cool, that's cool. Alright. Now I want to get you built up. What determines which stance he goes to? Other than me pressing it, obviously. Like, it seems to switch for other reasons as well. It's just like, if we're, it is it getting near things? Hmm. So, what happens if I get near you? We stay in that stance. Hmm. Because I've seen it happen a few times where it's like it just switched stances by itself. So if I get further away. No. Is that, now is that. Let me on, mate. Let me on! Mate! You wanna go, mate? Hey? Big damage numbers, though. Big damage. Big damage. If we can enhance it, that would be great. Tusser, see that big stone cube in front of you? I need your help. Yay! Do I really get to help my big brother out? You bet. Now I'll count down from three, and then we touch it together. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, crap. <laughs> I really have to wait for that whole thing. And not just go through regardless. Plus, why is there even lasers here? What's the purpose? I don't know. It's only chest. Ah. Could be something back up there, I suppose. <sighs> back together at last. You're not hurt, are you, Tusser? Hurt? No way. This is really fun. Fun for you, maybe. We were all scared to death. What's over there? Wow, this room is huge. Is this where Mr. Cyclops takes his friends when they come to visit? It is. Impressive, isn't it? Now, how about a little game of hide-and-seek? Huh? Now? Uh, but... <laughs> I have a surprise for you, you know. A surprise? Oh, what sort of surprise? Don't worry, you'll have the chance to look for it later. But before that, you have to close your eyes, turn around, and count down from 60. Okay. 60 is a really long time, though. 
Wait, do I only have 60 seconds to kill these things? As if so, like, jeez. There's not much time. Let's clear all these hazards out. Don't worry, it's all part of the surprise. I don't even see what's going on. Where am I? Get them! Sixteen, twelve, ten. I just get twenty-one K. You skipped a few numbers, you little rascal. <laughs> Notice. Alright, alright. Fifteen. Definitely got a 21k then. Huh? Three, two, one. Okay, you ready? Give me another ten seconds, too, sir. Still hiding. Found time to hide as well. This, this is everything I've ever dreamed of. It's Mr. Cyclops World. Uh, Mr. Cyclops is the coolest. Wow, he actually pulled it off. And the way he knocked those ruin guards around was like they really were kids' toys. But Paimon wonders if he'll be all right after using the Valve Legacy transformation again. Awesome! <laughs> Boy, if these Mr. Cyclopses weren't so big, I'd sure love to take one home. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd my brother go? Aren't you guys supposed to be playing hide and seek? Oh, that's right! I was so excited that I forgot all about our game. Well, let's go look for him together, okay? Not the best hiding spot. I saw you instantly. I'll see if there's any chests, though. I don't want to miss the chest. Um, don't see anything. Like, where is child? I can't find him. Still want to check up here, see if there's something I missed. Here's the one he pressed. Nope, no hidden chest or anything, that's fine. Very interesting design this place. Very steampunkish, very industrial. Very different to things I've seen previously. It's a good thing that you two found me first. Looks like using the foul legacy transformation while I was still injured. Took more out of me than I thought. I've no idea what I'd do if Tuser saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. You're not afraid that I might end you right here? <laughs> as I recall, you have siblings too, yes? I figured that you probably wouldn't take me out in front of my little brother. Really milking this situation, huh? Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, am always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise, you keep it. If you make a mistake, 
You apologize. And if you give someone a dream, you defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? Triple Dot. <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <laughs> Quit the tough guy act already! You need to see a doctor right away, mister! A fine suggestion, but first... I have a little something for two, sir. Please give it to him on my behalf. Huh? Is this... a Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya, but it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to two, sir. You'll help me out, won't you? I break a pinky promise. I get thrown on the eyes. <laughs> The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tusser taught you that one, did he? Go in peace. All right. Thank you. I can't find him anywhere. Where did he go? Uh, he's already headed back. What? Why? Why would he leave without me? A huge number of people suddenly wanted to buy Mr. Cyclops's. Yeah, so he had to leave in a real hurry. He didn't abandon you here on purpose. Oh, uh, well, that's great. But still, I was kind of hoping we could play here a little longer. Mm, this is for you. From your brother. Mr. Cyclops is in this size! Look! It even has my name on it! It's my very own Mr. Cyclops! You're really loving it, huh? You bet! My brother is the best big brother ever! You had a tour of Liyue, you met your brother, visited the Institute of Toy Research, and got yourself a souvenir! Now that's what we tour guides call the perfect trip! Do you think you're ready to head back to Snezhnaya now? <laughs> Don't worry. I know I can't get my way all the time. That'd just be annoying for everyone else. So... let's go. Return to Northland Bank. Sir, young Master Tusser, I've been waiting for you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please, come this way. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. Hmm. Your brother didn't say anything bad about me, and did he? Not at all. In fact, he said that if he ever had the chance, he'd quit his job and join you on your adventures. Young Master Tusser. The boat to Snezhnaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee, time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Mr. Nice Guy. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. I'll think about it. Want to make a pinky promise? Yeah, pinky promise, pinky promise! You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> it's a promise then. Bye-bye, too, sir. Have a safe trip. Adorable. 
Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him, but I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you've spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. One other thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. I'm not gonna lose to you. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to two, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell, my friends, till we meet again in Snezhnaya. Indeed. There we go. So, that's us going to be done with this part. In the next part, we'll probably be Windbloom again. Which will probably be like Act 4 of that. It'll be like the final part of it. And then we can finally, at long last, go on and do this little quest here that's a world quest. But it's clearly part of the Archon storyline because it's Chapter 1, Act 4, Prelude. So, been holding on to that for a while. I wanted to do that after Windbloom, so it's like, we'll finally do it. Finally do it. So yeah, that's just done for this part. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.